I've always been fascinated by morality and uh, kind of aim to challenge and question the, the way uh, society is. And a lot of this research led me to thinking about the future and climate change just as a kind of question of, of where we're going to be. What's going to happen is, is life going to carry on like this? And I started making art about it. My name is Cordelia Sembrovic. Um, I'm an artist and I've been taking on a kind of art um, liaison role within Climate Rush. I was really attracted to and inspired by the um, linking to the suffragettes and taking. Um, inspiration from these women who were um, fighting for um, equality and equal rights a hundred years ago. You know, something that we should all be so grateful for to have the right to vote. I think it's 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 very easy to forget history. I think the kind of turning point was was last April, and I, I did a performance where I, I wrote an email to Edward Miliband. It was uh, kind of linking my, my personal ambition to be more politically connected with um, this form of kind of meditative exercise. And by doing something very positive whilst in this stance, it was a very kind of simple email to write, but there was a lot of struggle involved. And Although the general populace is now more aware of the prospect of a changing climate and um, and even w with floods in Cockermouth and Gloucestershire two years ago, um, we're seeing the effects um, on, on our weather systems here. I think people are still not really a awake to what's happening, so I'm sure that more and more people will become aware and, and active. Um, I think it's it's not an issue that most people will be voting on and we're, we're going to come up to a general election in the next month or two. <laughs> it's really sad because they should believe in it but I think it's what's what's worse is if you if you understand it you believe in it and you're not really awake to it, not doing anything about it. Um, but I can I can completely understand because it it's um, hard, it's such a complicated issue and the whole with the industrial revolution and the technological advances that we've um, grown up with and evolved with and that are parts of our lives like living in warm houses or um, eating you know nice nice food from all over the world or um, whatever it's really hard to separate to, to kind of understand what what's wrong in, without feeling personally kind of guilty or um, overwhelmed by it all I try not to be judgmental and it's not it's not competition but I, I think we all need to see this as something positive and make the most out of the situation I have a lot of hope, I'm very hopeful, but I think we're, we, we need to act urgently and I'm, I'm not sure if we're doing enough right now um, to, to combat global warming and to stop it becoming runaway climate change. We can cope with a certain amount of temperature rise, but um, you know, according to scientific research, if the temperature rises above two degrees, then um, runaway climate change will happen. So I just hope that we take this more seriously and find a kind of way of resolving the differences of opinion that uh, all the different governments had last uh, December at Copenhagen. So there'll be another conference in Mexico next this year um, and hopefully the outcome will be a bit um, brighter.